I want to ask the sort of the first question that's kind of like that, that, that people might wonder because right. obviously your career with us started with uh, a Court of Force. Um, and how is this different, particularly how we're approaching it? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, yeah, so look, we did an amazing job with Court of Force, and it was, uh, Court of Force is a mixed martial art program. Uh, that Jericho and I built and we went through all sorts of different disciplines to make that program uh, what it was and uh, it definitely has a level of complexity and uh, if you guys have done before, if you have done that, you know I'm very much into simplicity and uh, when it comes to the weightlifting aspect and then with this, this is 100% boxing, endurance training, strength training and how boxers and you're talking about the fitness trend is just absolutely massive right now that it's so simple and that repetition of punching over and over and over again and developing these combinations where you're gonna be doing this and you'll, be have, you'll have this in your head, a one, two, three, four, five combination is not gonna make you think about it, you're just gonna go. So that, that repetition, that constant repetition with the simplicity is really what's gonna set this apart. Well, why do you think that, you talk, you're talking about the classes, why do you think these classes are so Packed. I mean, because they are literally packed. Yeah. Lines out. You got to reserve. Da da da. And uh, it's just boxing. Yeah, it's 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 one of those things that's surprising because it's been around for so long. And you guys saw in that promo, Jamal, one of one of my coaches, he, he's been doing this forever. And he's like, he's like, oh, this has been around for forty years. Like, how you know, it, you know, we know how trends work, and sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, in Hollywood, especially. Sometimes it takes a little bit of lights and, and movies and uh, music to to make people realize it. But this is something that's so effective that that's why shadow boxing, that's why boxers have to do it, and anybody who's, before you ever get to punch, a bag, a mitt, going especially sparring, you have to shadow box. And it's because it works, this repetition, you almost can turn your brain off yeah. after you learn this and just go to work, and you don't have to think about it, and, and taking that complexity out of it, you get so much more out of it yourself. Yeah, well that's, uh, frankly, my only experience with Boxing. Um, when I was a kid, I used to punch a heavy bag and everything. But then, what I learned in, in Power 90, we had part of the cardio program was a series of combinations, and I used to love it because you could literally turn your brain off, and you would just, as you would in repetition, learn these combinations. You could throw the punch so hard. But what I learned was that, in fact, it takes as much energy to stop the punch as it does to throw the punch, so that your back is working, right? So where I used to think that in order to get a boxing workout, you had to be punching something or have somebody with mitts, but it's actually, we're almost doubling down on the intensity because we're making you stop the, we're making right. you stop the uh, punch. Now, do me a favor though. Yeah. You know, can you demonstrate a little bit? Give us a little sense of how you construct how, how okay, you show you a little something? Yeah. Okay. Go over there so, so get over here so I don't get so I don't, you don't want me to punch you accidentally. Yeah, no. So, uh, look, and here's the thing, too. This is something that, and Amola just said a little while ago, which was awesome. He's talking about planes of movement, and this is also something that over the course of, because there are cardio kickboxing programs out there, there's other programs that have punches in them, and uh, it, it's very much based on these singular plane of movements. So you're always moving forward, you're moving back, and you're moving side to side. In the world of shadow boxing, you don't do that because you become predictable. And everything about boxing and shadow boxing, especially even if you have someone in the ring, is to be unpredictable. But you have to learn the footwork first. And you saw in the promo, we talked a little bit about that, but that's really what this is gonna happen. In day one of the very first workout, you're going to learn how to move your feet before you even throw a punch, because that's what's most important. And yes, we're gonna work on the planes of movement. You're gonna learn how to step forward, then you learn how to step backwards, and then you learn how to step side to side. And it's not just a matter of hopping side to side and moving your feet like a little bunny rabbit, because we've, I've, you guys have tagged me in some of your stories when you're punching and it's cute. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna break it down. We're gonna make it even more simple. It's really adorable. I love it though. Uh, and, and, but once we can get your footwork into play of the movement forward, and then once you understand how to move your feet, then we get you out of those planes of movement. So as opposed to just moving forward, now all of a sudden you're gonna move side, you're gonna move around, and then we start to throw the punches. And that's what's gonna happen. So then once you get your movement down, moving this way, you get to know. I don't even know I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna say move left. I'm not gonna say move right you're moving because now you understand how to actually do it and when you start to work this and then I'm like all right jab number one you have to move 
before you do it again. Then you have to do a one, two. Then you have to move again. And then we start to build the combinations up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. At that time, you're not even gonna have to think about the numbers anymore. I'm just gonna say the numbers out. I'm gonna say one, three, five. You got it. One, three, five, got it. Get it? Make sense? Yeah. Good. So we're getting out of we're getting out of your mindset. We're getting out of what you're so used to doing of moving forward, of moving back, of moving side to side. We're gonna get you moving in ways that you've never moved before. And in doing that, I'm kind of out of breath already, so imagine doing that for 35 minutes. It's that's why people love it, because you're you're scorching calories. Yeah, so the structure will be 10 three-minute rounds with yep. a short break in between three days a week and uh, also then two days a week of lifting. Two days. So we gotta do strength training, guys. This, Come on, it's me. We gotta do strength training, right? And then there's scotch. <laughs> That's on the weekends. Okay. So then, so so after uh, you know after lift four, people yeah. come to expect a certain style. Will right. this lifting be the same, or how are you gonna make Absolutely it? Absolutely not. I gotta, I gotta keep you guys guessing on that one. So no, it's not lift, lift four style. Uh, it's hypertrophy training. That's what everyone and you know back to basics. Uh, but I do still believe in simplicity. So we're really gonna be going after muscular endurance. Uh, so you guys saw you know, a couple of cool things on that on that trailer. Uh, really taking you and you going unilateral plane of movements, uh, challenging your core, making your body work in a way it hasn't done before. Uh, working through AMRAP style and, and all these different things that's going to really increase your muscular endurance. It's going to help when you go into the back into the boxing days. That's awesome. Well, well, one thing I love about the ten rounds concept and the boxing concept is so you you're working. It's it's a bit of a high intensity interval training, but it, it's kind of at this this last, the last minute, the last 30 seconds of a round, you just go all out. And man, it is a total burnout. I yeah. love it. Yeah, it's, it's been nonstop. And just even in the development of this, as I'm working through it, and uh, as I'm, I'm testing these workouts myself, um, and tracking my, cla my caloric burn, and 35 minutes is averaging over 500 calories per workout. I know you guys are tracking your stuff, so you want to see those numbers, right? And that's what people like to see. Uh, and, you know, I, we get that a lot with Lift 4, for instance. People are like, well, my Fitbit didn't show me a, a, a caloric burn. Well, we know what a muscular uh, a calorie burn does. This is going to be one of those things, too. Is like, you get to look at it, and you get to see, besides the fact you're sweating, you're out of breath, and you're exhausted, you also get that visual, uh, little, little visual good job. Well, we think that this is going to be a really significant launch because this will also coincide with the training and the launch of the BOD group's functionality. So it's all going to come together. So we're hoping that we got 364,000 people going into 10 rounds and we're all learning together about how to get people into groups with something that's very learnable and uh, we can all be working together when this comes out. It goes on sale in March, but we'll be starting again the Super Trainer Launch Group in April once everybody has cleared from the last two uh, programs that we launched. So super excited about it, man, and super excited to have you back uh, in development. So back to work, guys. Get to work. All right, don't forget, everybody.